Hi everyone, welcome to my art class. Today I'm going to teach you how to do watercolor corn. Okay, and before we're doing it, this one you can take a look. It's a lot of color, and this one actually we call glass gem corn. And I'm going to share the screen with you so you can take a look. So the, you can see, wow, a lot of rainbow color. This is we call glass gem corn. All right, so let's get starting it. Let me switch camera. Okay, you can see the camera right here. Okay, first I have uh, this watercolor paper. It's a little bit thicker. All right, and then you are going to have the tape. Okay, let's tape the border. Okay. Because and then make sure the border have a nice even space in between. Tape it well. On the other side too. Okay, measure it. Make sure you have a same size of the border. Alright, let's do it on the top. There'll be more right here and one on the bottom. Right here. Here we go. All right. So make sure you tape it well because you don't want the water goes in. Okay. And uh, you can see if you have a nice border like that, it looks much, much prettier. Right. Okay. All right. Let's get starting it. So first one, I like to start with the body part for the corn. Okay, and first we are going to make a curve, medium curve, not too big, not too small. Okay, on the top, medium curve right here. And then let's make a small curve on the bottom right here. So what are we going to do? We are going to make the line all the way go along to make the bottom curve. Okay, so let's keep going, 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 with the bottom curve. And same thing to this one. Keep going, 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 meet the bottom curve. And you know, sometimes if you think, okay, the shape, you don't like it, all right? And then you can always use your eraser fixing it. So for example, I feel here a little bit too much. And you can always erase a little bit and fix it with eraser. Okay, I don't want the corn looks too fat. All right, I think this one will look good. Okay, and next one we have a basic shape, and I was I would like to use the sharpie to start with the rest of the part. Okay, so for for next one. You can see uh, the corn has a leaf, right? So what are we going to do? We are going to draw some leaf right here. So let's start with the center, okay? So let's make a one curve, two curve, and a little bit line in the middle, okay? And same thing, let's do it this side. Start from the center, curve, down a little bit and make it comes back so it look like a small leaf right two leaves goes around that all right and of course we have a, a, some of the little one go along with it you can add a little bit some more right here okay and then on the side too i'd like to add the leaf right here so let's make it a the leaf right here on the top you know the leaf you know a little bit smaller but on the side on the top right here and the side here and here will be a little bit longer okay so let's start from here make you keep going 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 bend a little bit it's fine okay it comes back that's our leaf and we can make the line in between okay 
All right, let's do lily on this side too. Keep going, keep going, 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 going. Okay, stop right there, comes back. And then we can add one more right here. Okay, make some line in between. It looks good, okay? And the reason I don't want to do online here, because later on I want it to be curved, not straight. So you will see later on, okay? All right, let's do the top part. Same thing, let's start with the center and make it longer. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. All right, it's a little bit longer. You know the corn leaf a little bit long, right? Because you have to cover the whole thing and then peel. Okay, so let's make a line in between. Okay, the second one. All right, start from the center. Going up, 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 and then comes back. All right, overlapping part, you don't need to do a line, okay? All right, make line in between. We have a two. Okay, the third one, that's bend a little bit, okay? You don't want every leaf look so straight, okay? Let's make a curve and then bend a little bit. Looks good. Okay, it comes back. All right, make the line in between. All right, I'm going to do one more. This one is going to bend a little bit more, okay? So let's have the leaf goes up, okay? And then bending it goes down and then comes back. All right, make line in between. And then let's do the bottom part right here. Okay, so this leaf look like it bent it. All right. Okay, the next one, let's do the center part. Okay, center part is very easy, but um, you will need a little bit patient. Okay, so before, let's start with the middle part. Okay, let's make a line, not too big, not too small. Okay, in between, line, line, line. Line, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going until all the way to the bottom. Okay? And we are making a curve on both sides. Okay? But when I'm making a curve, you know, I don't want you to make it too rounded. I want you to make it a little bit squarey, okay? So when I say not rounding it, let me show you. For example, I have a two line, right? If I make it rounded, it's like that, all right? And if I want it a little bit squarey, you are going to make it a little bit straight and then come back. Make it a little bit straight and curve around the end. So yeah, a little bit difference. Can you see the difference? This one is like curve all the way and this one is curved on the beginning curve on the end but here is more straight so we want this one not this one okay all right are you ready so let's do a lot of curve okay all right be patient all right curve 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 keep going Keep going. It's not necessary to be every single one. It's the same, okay? And also, you know, when you're doing this, you can see it become on the on, all the way to the bottom. It becomes smaller, smaller, and smaller. Okay, so top can be bigger, and the bottom can be smaller and smaller. Okay, let's keep on doing it. Curve, 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 curve. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, and then you start to getting smaller, 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 and smaller. All right, okay, next one, same thing, we are going to make a lot of line, all right? So let's make line, line, line. All right, make a lot of line. 
So this part you need to be patient, okay? But if you can go all the way through with this, and it will look really nice and beautiful, okay? All right, keep on doing curve. This time you can just do one side, that's fine. Okay, curve, curve. Keep going, keep going, all the way. Okay, all right, let's do the other side. Same thing, line, line, line. Okay, I want you to do it with me together. Don't give up. Let's do it together. I will do it slow, okay? And then remember all the way to the bottom and it becomes smaller and smaller, okay? Okay, let's do curve right now. Curve, 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 curve. Keep going, keep going, keep going. It becomes smaller, smaller, smaller. Look at that. Here we go. All right, and then we can keep on adding right here. Okay, same thing, line, 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 line. Lots of lines. All right, curve, 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 curve. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, you see the bottom part we already done, right? Okay, let's do the other side. Line, line. All right, here you need to be patient because, you know, after you're done, it will look really, really nice. No matter, no matter, you know, how many color you put, it's going to be really nice, okay? You won't be able to mess up, right? Just be careful with those curves, okay? All right, curve, curve, curve. Going until all the way until the end. I think this one looks so far so good. Okay, and then here I don't want the I don't think I need I don't want to keep on going, so I just make this one a little bit longer and cover it up. That will be good enough. All right, and you can see our pencil line, right? Right now it's ready for you to erase it. But when you erase it, light and gentle. Okay, light and gentle. You don't want to hurt the watercolor paper. Light and gentle, erase the previous pencil line. Okay, this one right now looking so far so good. Okay, let's have a start with our beautiful, beautiful corn. All right, so what are we going to do? I want you to spend time on doing those beautiful, beautiful rainbow. Uh, this one we call glass, glass gem corn. Okay, but I'm going to put a lots and lots of rainbow. Okay, let me put water here so you can see how much water I use. Okay, that take some water. So pick up the color you really like. I like the yellow. I always start with the yellow tone light tone first okay so just go a little bit one two three four five six seven eight nine ten make sure you have enough pigment if it's too dry and get some more water and try to get enough pigment on your mixing plate not too dry not too wet okay so i'm thinking right now it's doing good this color it looks good okay so you are going to start to paint it painting it but you know, when you're doing it, uh, especially for the center part, I want you to be careful. Don't paint the whole thing. I want you to leave a little bit reflection on the top. So for example, I'm doing the cone right here. I do paint on the top. You see this, this area, paint on the top, paint on the bottom. 
left and right and leave a little bit reflection without painting it in the center. I know yellow color a little bit hard to see, but later on uh, when I use other color, you can see better, okay? So same thing, top button, color in, color in. You are going to random pick some of the color, okay? Top and bottom, color in, color in. You can see the middle part, I didn't paint it at all, okay? Especially for the center, three, uh, this center and one, the one next to it, okay? So I'm trying to fill in some of the more yellow. Very easy, top, bottom, left, right. Top, bottom, left, right. Top, bottom, left, right. And on the bottom, it's too hard to leave the, if the, on the bottom is too hard to leave the um, reflection, then you don't need to worry about it, okay? So I'm trying to have a light tone center in, you know, in the center, and then that looks really nice. Okay, so you are going to random pick to see, okay, where you need more yellow and you put some more, okay? Okay, I like to change color now, all right? So next one, I want to use orange, okay? So I take a little bit of water without washing it. It's okay, the, the orange mixed with yellow will be like orange, it looks good too, okay? All right, so and a little bit of water, pigment, mix, mix well. Okay, and then let's fill in a little bit more orange, okay? So let's see, you can see light on the top, painting on the top, on the bottom, go left, go right. Ah, this one, you can see better, I leave the reflection right here, right? Okay, so let's keep on going. Top, bottom, left, and right. The reflection part, you don't need to leave it too big, okay? Just a teeny bit, just a teeny bit, okay? If it too big, the area you leave it too big, it looks like you, you didn't uh, paint it well. That's not what we want, okay? So what we want is just leave the reflection a little bit. And on the side, I don't think you need to leave the reflection there at all, okay? But if you want, you can have a sum, all right? So top, bottom, a little bit is fine, okay? So I'm going to stop pick, random pick the area I want to put up. Orange. Okay, so I keep on going top, bottom, left, and right. And fill in a little bit here, a little bit in here, okay? And, and I think... I think I need some more right here, top, bottom, a little bit. Okay, and I want a little bit right here. Okay, so you can keep on thinking, you know, where the color you put it on will, will look nice and have a beautiful, nice combination. Okay, so you know, you it, Orange and yellow, they are pretty well to go together. The color looks really nice. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to put one more right here. Okay, look good. All right, I want to change color. All right, wash, wash my brush. Next one. Hmm, I like purple. I'm going to use some purple, okay? So right here, I'm mixing, mixing. Well, this one is purple. Right here, a little bit pinkish, like grape, right? All right, a little bit more. I want to make sure I have enough pigment. And you can see right now, watercolor, not too dry, not too wet. It looks good. Okay, and one thing very important when student painting it, they somehow, sometimes they push brush too much. Okay, don't push too much, just use the tip, okay? Just use the tip. All right, let me show you, use the tip, one on the top, one on the bottom, left and right. Look at, look at that, beautiful, beautiful, okay? Top, bottom, left and right. 
looks really nice, right? I like I want a little bit more pigment. Okay, here we go. All right. Top, bottom, just teeny reflection on the side. Top, bottom, reflection a little bit. All right, top and bottom. Looks really nice. Okay, more top button. Here we go, top and button. All right, I'm going, I think here looks good. I'm adding one more right here. Okay, how about here? Here, I think I need one more. One, two, color in. Here, I think I can have a one more right here. One, two, color in. This area, I can have uh, one right here. Okay, and I move up. Hmm, I'm going to put one right here. So it's about the color combination. You are going to see Hmm, which color go with where and what looks nice and then just go ahead and do it, okay? All right, top button with a little bit of reflection. Put it on. I'm going to pick one more right here. Top and bottom. And one right here will looks really nice. On the side too. I think here I need one. How about one more right? One more right here. Okay. One more right here. Okay. So far so good. Okay. I think I like it a lot. All right. Next one I'm going to use red. Okay. I'm not washing the brush again. Just dip a little bit water. And then put it in the red. You know, sometimes red mix with the purple. That's fine. They won't change it that much. So you know the reason I don't want to wash the brush. You can save your pigment. Okay. You don't waste waste the pigment on your brush. When you wash off, it's no more. But you know, actually, pigment you can keep on doing working on it. All right, all right. Right now I have a red one. I'm going to put it on, on here. Okay, I think I'm going to put it on here. Okay, uh, one right here. Top and bottom, left and right. So you can see the reflection. Right on the side, reflection a little bit smaller. Like one more right here. Okay. But top and bottom. Like that. All right. More. Okay, more. See where you like it, fill in, fill in, okay? Okay, here we go, looking good. A little bit right here. One more right here. Okay, I'm going to put one right here, top and bottom, left and right. One more right here, one more right here. How about one more right here, top and bottom, left and right. Yeah, I think red one looks pretty good. Now, maybe one more right here. And one more right here. Looking good. Okay, wash my brush, wash, wash. And this time I want to have the teal blue. This one teal blue, I always like it. It's one of my favorite colors. 
So let's get some pigment from the teal blue. And when we say teal, it's a little bit greenish in the blue. So we call teal blue, okay? All right, so let's fill in the rest, okay? All right, top and bottom, left and right. Top, bottom, left and right. Very easy, this one is reflection. Top and bottom, left and right. Okay, use tip, okay, use tip. Don't push your brush too hard, okay? Just use tip. Will be really, really easy, okay? Use a good brush, okay, use a good brush. Sometimes if you have a good brush to use, and the painting looks nicer. And the brush, if the brush is not good, and you are going to have a hard time to make the painting looks wonderful, okay? All right, I'm going to fill in the rest of the part. Okay, you can see right now, yeah. Start to filling in the rest of the part. It looks really, really pretty right now. Looks really, really nice. Put some more. Right here, right here. Ta -ta -da, look at that. It's beautiful, right? Wow, okay. Right now, it comes the leaf, usually glass gem corn. Have a, you know, when they ready to show people, it's all the leaf turn into brown already, uh, orangey-ish brown. So we are going to do leaf a little bit orange-ish brown, okay? So what are we going to do first? I'm going to take some orange and take some brown mixed together. Okay, and mix together. Okay, this brown a little bit too dark. I don't like it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit more yellow, a little bit water, more yellow. All right, a little bit more yellow. Make it lighter, not so brown. Make it lighter. Okay, right now it looks good, but still, this color is still too dark. So if I like the same color, I want it lighter, I will need to add more water, okay? So I'm, you see my tip, I added more water, right? Okay, and then I will mix, mix, and scrape all the extra water. You can see, I don't want it to be too wet, okay? So right now we are ready to paint those leaf, okay? So you can see, ooh, this looks really nice. Light brown, yellowish brown. Same thing to here. This color looks nice. Okay, we are going to do it on here. Here, everywhere. But you know, the watercolor, if you only put one color, it's not that nice and beautiful. Okay, it looks a little bit too plain. Okay, so sometimes we need to make it a little bit, the color have a, make it a little bit, have a difference. Okay. So what are we going to do? We are going to add some shade on the leaf, okay? So for example, this one, you see it's rounded, right? And those are leaf. And close to the corn, those are where the light cannot go in. So what are we going to do? We are make it darker, okay? So by making the brown a little bit darker, you can add a little bit more brown, but a little bit green too. 
Can you see this one? Beautiful, beautiful brownish green. Very nice, right? Okay, and then we can use a little bit water and then make some shade, okay? So you see the light cannot go in or be this area. So I'm putting a little bit shade right here, make it a little bit darker. Same thing to this side because it's hiding in there. So let's make some shade. All right, all right, same thing. You see in here, the light is hard to go in. So we can have uh, some shade, a little shade right on the center part. Okay, this one leaves on the top, but the bottom will need the shade. Okay, goes a little bit darker because the light cannot go in. All right, this one top, bottom, right? So we, of course we need some shade. Okay, same thing. This one will be on this one top and this one will be on the bottom. So again, we need some shade right here. Is that pretty? All right, and if you like, you can put some more color. For example, those fold. You can have a shade, some of the shade for those fold. And also, you know, sometimes I like to put a little bit different color, not just brown, looks really plain. So, you know, you can always put more orange, but don't put the light orange. You should put the darker orange, okay? Put a darker orange and mix with the previous brown and have an orange dominate the brown. It looks good. And then you can randomly put whatever you want, okay? So for example, I'm going to put a little bit orange here, a little bit here, there, and here, here, and there to make it prettier. Not too plain. Okay, you can put it anyway. Make it not too plain, more colorful. Okay, I think this one right now so far so good. It looks really nice already. Okay, all right, and we are almost done. Next one, wash, wash, brush. Okay, tap, tap, tap on the bottom and go left and right, left and right. So you want the main focus is on the core, all right? So you want to keep your background as light as you can, okay? So you can pick any color you like, but keep the color simple, okay? So for example, do you have a rainbow right here? If you put the rainbow color here, it won't look good, okay? This one will be not uh, main focus anymore. So you want to keep the color simple. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I want it stay dark, not bright. Okay, so I'm going to use black. But this black, I only use a little bit. Remember, we want it very, very light and subtle. The black is going to be too heavy. So what do we need to do? We need the gray, adding a lot of water. And then you will become gray, not black, right? But this color, I don't think it's nice, okay? It's too dark. So if you like, I would suggest you can mix some with some uh, blue or mix with some green to make this black color not so black. And since corn, you know, relate to the nature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix with some darker green and see how the color turns out. I think this darker green mixed with black looks really nice. I'm going to use this color for my background, okay? All right, greenish. But you know, remember you need a lot a lot of water to keep the background light. Okay, I'm going to take some more water, okay? And try on the bottom part. Looks good, looks light. 
color is dark, but because I'm adding a lot of water, so it is darker color, but looks really light. You can use a lot of lots of water, okay? You can use a lot of water. All right, I'm going to paint this area. If you think it's too dark, always take some more water to make it lighter, okay? You can always take some more water and make it lighter. And then let's paint the rest of the area. Like that. Okay, right here. Make sure your border have enough color. Otherwise, when you take it off, you know, there's a, there will be a spot you didn't paint it, it, will, it won't look nice, okay? All right, let's take some more paint on the corner and bring it in. Some more paint, I'm gonna use a little bit more water. I want to keep it light. All right, bring it in. Bring it in. Get more water. Bring it in. Pigment. The pigment always start from the border, okay? Because you sometimes you will, it looks, uh, it, it tend to be darker. Okay, add water. Blend it out. Blend it out. And blend it out. All right. And you can see right now, it looks pretty nice. Okay, and next one, you don't want it too plain. So take a little bit more pigment and put some texture, like, you know, one stroke, two stroke, like that, put some texture. Okay, put some texture. That would look nice if you like. All right. Okay. I think right now I'm done. Okay, let's see how it look like. Okay, put it on the side. Okay, let's take it off. All right, you ready? All right, let's take this one off, the tape off. Oh. <laughs> Okay, when we take it off, we want to, we don't want to go in, in the middle, we want to go it on the side, okay? You don't want to rip off your paper, so always tear it off and pull it to outside. Like that. You see right now, after you take it down, Beautiful, beautiful, nice and clean, right? How do you think? All right, I'm going to show you in a different view. Okay, take a look. Like that. Very nice and beautiful, right? Do you like it? All right, I hope you enjoy the lesson and see you next week. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.